first of all, I would like to welcome you here to my first episode. I'm a bit nervous. I'm going to tell you a bit more about myself. My name is Inez. Um, I'm knitting and living in Ghent, Belgium. Um, Belgium is not a really good place for major knitters, like our big fans of knitting like I do. Um, I have to find good yarn. It's a, it's not an easy task to find nice yarn in the sense that I don't want to do the whole commercial yarns. I do sometimes depending on the project that I have or the budget that I have. But um, mostly I'm, um, I'm a big fan of Norwegian yarn because um, the sturdiness. I like the rustic yarns. I like also like a bit of the merino yarns as well depending on what i'm making but for example i'm wearing my senior sweater um today and it's made out of um, hillisfog it's a norwegian yarn i picked up when i was in oslo and i absolutely love this yarn this is tinder it's their pelts wool yarn in the colors of burgundy and gray and i'm so in love with it it was already a nice yarn to work with while I was knitting it, but as soon as had it, it had a good wash, it was so amazing. It, it, it was so soft and I really love it. So um, yeah, I'm a big fan of that yarn, uh, Hillisfog. Um, I've always, I also bought some Roma yarn, but I haven't worked with it. Um, so I'm going to see when I knit that up, how it works or how it feels. Um, I just wanted to talk a bit more about who I am and why I'm, I'm doing this. Um, I've been knitting for about four years. I could always knit. Um, I always, when a kid, when I was a kid, I always started knitting, like making a scarf and my mom helped me, like binding off, setting it up, uh, do the cast on and bite off. Um, but I've never done more than that. And then about four years ago, I got the bug. I got the knitting bug. Um, I don't know how it happens. I had a friend who was knitting and I decided to do it myself. And since then I fell madly in love with it. Um, it's, it's an addiction. I have a yarn addiction and I'm not afraid to say, but sometimes I spend more money on yarn than I do for shoes. Um, I buy yarn every, every month. I buy something or needles or a book or everything that is related to yarn. Um, my dad has been buying me birthday presents for the last three years and it's always yarn related. Even my Christmas presents. And every year he goes like, I don't want to buy you more yarn. It was like, you have plenty. I was like, dad, you never have enough yarn. Um, so I'm so in love with it. It's weird if you're, you know, it's only a thing that when you're in love with yarn yourself that you know what's on about, you're, what I'm talking about, you know. The colors, the material, the thickness. Um, some yarns bloom after you've used them and you had a good rinse and they had a good wash, like a Hulst, for example. Um, when you get the spinning oil out, it's really amazing. And then just the, I'm really proud when I made something new. I'm, I'm really proud of myself. Like my hands, those hands can do that. Oh, don't watch my nails. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, I normally get my nails done, but you the situation we're all in, um, I cannot do my nails for the moment. So they look a bit awful. I hope, I'm sorry for that guys. Um, I'm in between fake nails and normal nails. I'm, I'm just going on a, ranting about nails now. I'm so sorry. Um, a bit about, about me, um, I'm 32 years old. Um, I work as a recruiter in IT. Um, I love my job. It's amazing. Um, it's a difficult um, uh, job to work in, in the sense that there's a lot of competition with the candidates I'm looking. Um, certain developers are not easy to get to. Um, yeah, and I'm always looking for new ways to contact them and to see. Um, next to my um, normal job, I have, um, I'm lucky to work close by home, so I have a lot of time to knit as well. I even knit during my lunch break. My, I'm the only one in a company who does that and people think I'm weird. I'm, I'm always taking my knitting with me. For example, today I went for a walk with somebody and um, I, we, I just had my knitting. I'm, yeah, I'm, I just do that. I just walk around the street and along just knitting the whole time and I'm knitting amazing socks for the moment. I will show you, uh, I will show them in a minute. Um, so yeah, um, I actually lost my train of thoughts. That will happen, okay? That's something you need to know. Um, I, it's my first episode, so 
I still need to get the hang of it. The reason I want, I'm doing this is because, yeah, I love yarn, I love knitting, and I think in Belgium it's not that big of a deal. Um, for example, we do have some local yarn shops, and I'm happy we've got one here that has really beautiful yarn in this in the city where I live. Um, otherwise, I have to go to Brussels or a bit further down, but 20, 20 kilometers away, there's another nice shop as well, but not like when you're going to Norway or in, Eng or in England. I order a lot of yarn online um, and yeah I miss that sometimes I wish I could live in a country where yarn is normal um, I remember going to Oslo in November and I just hauled I had a yarn haul um, I will put in a picture uh, I took afterwards I had 13 skeins I bought and it was amazing and they were all stuffed in my hand hand luggage because I didn't want to put them in my normal luggage with imagine if it gets lost that's my yarn you know that's I don't care about the clothing um, actually I should have because there's a lot of uh, jumpers or cardigans I made in there as well but gladly everything went went fine and I didn't lose my luggage but just imagine like losing my yarn I couldn't do that um, so I'm going to talk a bit more about what I'm knitting for the moment I'm knitting my socks they're so amazing look at that um, this is yarn from Dragon Hill Studios it, look at that it's got the sparkle not sure if you can see a bit yes a bit the sparkle in there um, her it's called Sherborne sparkle socks I met um, or I the first time I saw this um, yarn while I was in Dublin I went to the shop it's called this is knit in Dublin and um, I picked I saw the yarn there but I've spent way too much already on yarn um, that trip and it was a way I went to celebrate St. Patty's Day and it was amazing um, and also the yarn of course I bought in Ireland um, it was a really expensive trip and I didn't really calculate the yarn budget uh, then but I was I always regretted not buying the, the yarn there so um, around Christmas because at that time she had an amazing uh, Christmas yarn I know St. Patty's is in March but it, there were still some left and uh, you know it was like 25 euros or 23 euros and I was like yeah I just bought some already and you know um, I couldn't really I, I could have maybe afforded it but I'm you know I, I was doubting but when I came back I was like always oh, thinking about that yarn I was like oh I'm so stupid why didn't I buy that so but then along Christmas came and she had an amazing new color and I couldn't resist myself I couldn't I just bought it and look how amazing I'm actually I knitted socks out of there my Christmas socks and um, I'm going to show you my sock is yeah they were folded together so he's not in a good uh, yeah don't mind the shape okay look at that color look oh my god this is amazing this is so amazing I absolutely love this color and it's even nicer than the one I saw in Dublin but since then I've been following her on Instagram and the colors are amazing and um, yeah you should follow her on Instagram Dragon Hill Studios I'll put the link down below um, and I've been you know if I, I'm having a bad day I'm that kind of girl if I'm having a bad day I just have a look online watch some yarn sometimes I really need to resist myself to click on the buy button but you know it's also as a treat for myself if I have a really bad day uh, maybe it will come up in the in some later episodes but I've been having a rough time lately I had a, just broken up with my boyfriend so um, it was a, a like an awful time you know going through hard heartbreak is always, always is but I'm doing good because I have my yarn <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, um, if I'm having um, a bit of a down day or I want to do something or I don't feel so well, I just, just look on pictures online and watch some yarn and, you know, and um, then I found this, this color is so amazing. I'm, I'm so in love with it. This, I wish you could squeeze this. I wish you could feel this. This is so soft as well. This is, uh, I'm not sure what kind of blend it is. I'll have a look it up and I'll put it on a note down there. I should have been prepared more. Um, but please, mind, it's my first episode. 
Um, and I'm a bit nervous still. Um, I've been talking about for 10 minutes now and I'm still not sure what I'm going to do or what I'm going to say. I wrote down some show notes of what I want to talk to, uh, talk about. Um, and um, yeah, the yarn is, is just, they were my Chaigo needles. I just ordered them online, the Chaigo needles. I bought a pair as well, um, the um, interchangeable ones in Dublin, but I only bought one because uh, I wanted to have a try. I've never tried Chaiku before because I've been knitting on Knit Pro um, the whole time. I've um, I've got the whole set, so for me it's easy. Uh, my my um, sock needles are an off brand. I bought it somewhere in the city. I don't really know the brand, but you know when you slide your socks, it's it's a bit sturdy. This needle is still a bit sturdy as well. The the, the cable is not that flexible, and I think this is not an interchangeable one. This is a, a fixed one. And I think the, the cable is more sturdy than the interchangeable ones. Um, but I broke my needle. Uh, while I was in Oslo, I had to go catch my plane and I just stuffed it in my backpack. And then when I came back, it broke. So I was like, oh no, I felt a bit stupid because it was my own fault. I should have protected my needles. I should have taken care of my needles. This, that's an important lesson. Always take care of your needles. Because... You know, I'm a knitter, I'm, I, I knit to my couch and I just, you know, my, my couch is always a big mess because there's yarn everywhere and if I invite people over, I need to clean the couch first. Sometimes I'm working on three projects at the same time, um, I'm just doing that. And um, how many times I've sat down on the couch and broken it all and then I'm so angry with myself. I think it happened at least five times already and they're wooden needles, so yeah, they break easily. And I still don't learn my lesson. So I thought with the Chaigu ones, I should have le learned my lesson by now, but I didn't. So I bought this um, fixed one this week because I love Chaigu. And I'm saving up a bit for uh, the full set because um, it's about in 193 euros, about 200 euros. And I love spending money on that um, kind of uh, materials or needles, but I need to save up a bit. That's the responsible way to do it. Uh, buying yarn, um, cause yeah, I buy a lot of yarn. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, I need to calculate that in my budget if I want the full set or maybe ask my dad for my birthday again for, um, a, a present, a yarn related present. Um, like for example, I still need to get my New Year's present. I my, I couldn't figure out what I wanted. Something not yarn related. It's a difficult question. If somebody asks you, what would you like for New Year or Christmas, non yarn related. If it's yarn related, I can give you five books I want. I can give you yarn I want. I even maybe buy me a pattern. I can tell you immediately what I want. But a non yarn related gift that's difficult because. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of interest. Maybe you can buy me yarn I can color or dye myself, but I'm actually doing that a bit as well. Um, sorry, gonna just move a bit. Um, yeah, it's weird doing the podcast, I'm gonna be honest. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing this as well is for my own uh, self esteem. Um, last year I lost about 20 kilos, something like that, due to stress, not like I went on a diet and. Um, I had a lot of stress with the with a boy with an ex boyfriend, and um, so I lost a lot of of weight. And um, also, um, I had a, a whole ch mindset change last year as well. I, I lost some people in my life, like friends who've I've known for about twenty years, and we're not on speaking terms anymore. But that's not something I'm gonna bother you with. But it started to change my way of thinking. And the way I saw myself because um, I was unhappy about who I was and like where my life was going. And um, now doing this podcast is will help me with the fact that I don't like to speak in front of the camera. Um, you always, you don't, you know, people are, when you take a selfie, how many times do you retake that same selfie? Because there's always something wrong. You zoom in. You um you you don't like the way your hair looks or or you make a small video and you don't don't like the voice or the sound of your voice, so for me to cross that bridge or to to expand or I don't know how should I say it to improve my self esteem I decided to do the podcast, um and also I love knitting, 
Haven't I told you that? I love knitting. Um, yeah, I'm a bit of a weirdo. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, the sun is went away apparently for a second. Um, so yeah, um, and there's not a lot of, um, there only also a reason in what I'm doing this, there's not a lot of knitters in Belgium who podcast. So yeah, I just want to talk about that and maybe get to know some more people in Belgium. I know there's a knitting, uh, a knitting group in Brussels who gets together knitting and crochet group. I'm not sure the name uh, by heart right now, by uh, out of on top of my head. Um, the reason I'm doing this podcast in English is because yeah, more viewers I think, um, and also yeah, um, it's the knitting world. A lot of people speak English there, and um, yeah, I think that's one of the reasons I'm doing it in 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 English. Um, so yeah, that yarn. <laughs> I lost my train of thoughts. That will happen. Um, I hope because of that you won't lose your interest in, in this podcast. Um, so next to what am I making? So the vanilla socks you've seen, but I'm also making a sweater for my friend, um, a, a jumper. Um, I've always said I'm not knitting a jumper for somebody else but me. Um, and but she's a really good friend and she loves, she supports me like in everything that I do. For example, when I have a sleeve done, I send her a picture and go like, oh, amazing, I love it. It's a sleeve. Like certain people don't get excited for a sleeve, but she does. She's a graphic designer herself. And she's going to help me with an intro for this video as well. Maybe in a later stage, um, I need to have a logo and stuff like that. But she is my graphic designer. She will take care of it. And um, she knows how it is um, to create something and to put your love in it, put your work in it, and she really appreciates it. So um, I'm, it's a funny story, this one. Um, I'm making it out of um, Baram Eel with Thorpe, um, the DK weight. Um, I saw on a sale that, I saw on their website they were having a sale. Like the color was going out, like they're ending the, the color, they're not making it anymore. And I was like, yeah, okay. Um, she likes purple, this is purple, we need to buy it. So I bought four skates. Uh, she's she's skinny, She's in, she has, um, I think, a size 36 European size. So I could have done it with four skates. And I just, excuse me, I decided to knit the blank canvas from um, Isolde Teague. But while I was, it's bottom up. And I, while I was knitting it, and there was some sense of feeling something was wrong I measured my gauge I was still on gauge but there was something wrong and also like so many centimeters stuck in it stuck in it stuck oh my god I can't say the word stuck in it stitch okay there you go in the round and yeah it, you know I was at the part that I did the sleeves I did everything together so I was starting to do the yoke and I didn't like what I was knitting it can happen. It, it's such a beautiful pattern if you see the pictures, but I'm not a big fan of knitting from the bottom up. I prefer top down because then you can start to try it on and see if it's the right fit, for example, or um, yeah, you have a better sense of the, the, the construction of the, the sweater, the, the jumper. So I like that more. Um, and then last week I was like, I was doing the yoke, you know, guys, the whole body was done, the sleeves were done. I was doing the yoke. If I would have just poured through that, just keep kept on knitting, I would have finished that cardigan in a week. That uh, cardigan, sorry, that jumper in a week. And I, no, it wasn't it. I didn't feel it. And I'm a person, if I knit something, I want it to be beautiful. I wanted to like with a hundred percent feeling, give it to somebody and say, I created this and be proud of what I created. I wasn't, I wasn't. So what did I do? I ripped everything out. I ripped everything out. I was like, oh my God, I'm crazy. This is more than a month's work. I did it on 3.75 needles and it took me a long time to get there. And for me, it was no, 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 no. It wasn't it. So then I started looking because I really want to give her her jumper. Um, now I have enough time. We're all in Corona. We're all in lockdown. My friend lives close to Amsterdam. We see each other every two weeks. We're supposed to see each other every two weeks. 
and um yeah so i still have enough time the the lockdown is at least two more weeks three more weeks who can tell how long this will take so but i found this pattern it's called the tw the trig sweater from juliana lustenader i will put the da the link down below um it's always difficult to pronounce somebody else's name if you don't know the person and you don't know how to pronounce it but i saw the sweater and i loved it it's i will show you guys okay um mind you the you can see that i've been ripping out the yarn you know it gets a bit um wobbly as you can see here you know because you've knitted it before but everything will be fine give it a good wash give it a good wrench and then block it out and I, i'm not worried about that um but normally you have that nice smooth that's not in this case uh, for the moment it's just because your yarn is a bit yeah it was tense and you, when you you rip things out it, it's okay i don't have the correct terminology for that but it's okay so um i'm going to show you guys see how beautiful is this i have to keep it up a bit higher and see so it's got like a pattern in here as, as you can see it's got some eyelets in here and it's just it still needs a ribbing to do the neck uh, neckline and uh, I've got one sleeve done. Oh, come on, the light. I'm sorry, guys. I need to figure it out. So I've got one sleeve done. And I'm halfway through the second sleeve. As you can see, I have to uh, decrease so many rows. Like every seventh row, I need to decrease. And um, it's, it's a quick knit. I'm working on these five millimeter needles with DK weight yarn. It's amazing. I've never done it. I, I, I actually prefer finger and weight yarn or DK, DK weight yarn, but with a smaller needle size. Um, I like the, um, the closeness of the yarn. I like the, the fabric. Like as you can see with this one, it's really close. It's tight knit and I'm a tight knitter, but this feels amazing. It's so quick. I'm like, I started this last week, okay? Last Saturday, so a week and a day ago. And I've already done a part of the body. And I'm, you know, look, this is what I have. This is what I have. It's amazing. This is what I've done in a week. And I'm going to make one for myself as well. I've still got some tin Tinder left um that i bought um so um i'm making myself uh, a trick sweater um i bought a pattern on ravelry i didn't browse really for long to buy a new pattern i just typed in top down one color raglan i love raglan sweaters as well as you can see this is a raglan sweater um so um yeah that's that was it and i showed her the picture she liked it and uh, but you know she she likes everything that i show her or that i make because she's that a supportive friend and um babe if you're watching this i love you and i miss you i'm sorry for that <laughs> um that was a side note um so i'm surprised how fast this is going and i'm so in love with the the pattern and it's not that difficult you just set up and then as soon as you hit the the when you've done the all stitches, you, you knit a few rows and then you go to the uh, eyelid part and it's so easy. It's just, yeah, um, I'm not gonna tell the pattern, but it's just a typical eyelid uh, pattern and it's so amazing. And um, yeah, I've been working on it for about a week now. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I can't wait to see her and give her uh, the, pa the, the, the jumper. So, um, yeah i'm looking forward to it um most of the time i like to knit norwegian um, patterns like the one i'm 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 wearing now i like those yokes the colorful color work yokes um because yeah i like something with a challenge um i always have a vanilla or a stockinette stitch project on my needles and then a color work stitch a color work uh, project because i like to yeah see like what i'm into or change a bit and if i, if I don't want to keep paying attention to my work i just take the stockinette stitch project and i'm now having two stockinette stitches it's different most of the time actually i have color work stockinette and then a sock uh, pa a project going on uh, but at the moment just one cardigan and it's called the trig sweater i'll put everything down below 
um, acquisitions this week. Hopefully next week I can show you the biggest acquisition. I can. I'm still on a waiting list for though, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have it. But it will be in my library. I'm so in love with the 52 weeks uh, book of Lane magazine and um, there's a waiting list in the local uh, yarn shop um, not really local the one about 20 kilometers away from me but I wanted to support local businesses so um, I wrote her an email at saying and asking like can you put me on that waiting list please because I really love that book and I love socks and I uh, would be so nice to have that book so um, I'd rather not order it online. Uh, I saw you cannot order it on Lane Magazine as well for the moment. They're still printing um, a version of it or like an, an, an edition. So um, yeah, so hopefully next week I will know more. If she has enough copies, then I'm, I will get a copy myself as well. I think I will just jump in my car and just drive to that um, yarn shop. I know Corona, I'm not allowed. But We'll figure it out how I'm going to get that book. Um, I love knitting books. I love that people are still designing new patterns and like certain um, the f photography of Lane magazine as well is so nice. It's so amazing. Um, I love that knitting is a thing. Is um, you know it's um, for people in Belgium when they tell people that I'm, my hobby is knitting, they go like, "Oh, my grandma used to do that." And I'm always compared with grandmas and not that I'm worried about that or that it, it hurts my feelings, but why is it, is it associated with grandmas? Because it, they used to do that. Um, the thing is also like knitting is a nice hobby. It okay can cost a lot of money. In my case it does, uh, but you create something beautiful. I um, make mittens, I make hats, I, I you know, you you make projects or you make items that keeps people warm. I put my love and energy in that. And for me, that's a nice uh, gesture. If I give um, a pair of mittens to somebody, that means that I want to keep them warm. It's like um, a symbolic way for me or same with socks. If I knit socks, it's always to keep somebody warm. And I like that feeling or that emotional part behind it as well. And for me, knitting is also makes me calm. If I'm having a bad day, if I had a fight with you uh, before, you know, um, I just take my knitting and within 10 minutes, I'm calm, I'm focused. For me, I have sometimes the urge to knit while I'm at work saying like when I have a bad meeting or a bad day, I just knit and that calms me down. And how easy is that? And uh, I'm also making something beautiful. For me, that that was a good thing. Um, I started knitting actually when my mom passed away. Um, my mom was really creative and um, she was crocheting. Uh, when my mom was still alive, I was crocheting at that time. And um, she really liked that. It's like she looked over at me and she was like, oh my God, I'm so happy you're doing this. It calms you down. And um, I'm, she was happy to see that, that I found something that I loved. And um, she used to do that as well so she could um, um, see or, or she knew how it felt um, she could reason with that so um, yeah I love that but since my knitting it's gone yeah it's just my sanity um, I don't know if you guys have the same thing but for me knitting is keeping me sane um, even when I I have a busy job I talk a lot I'm on the phone all day, I'm helping people, I'm talking to people, I'm interviewing people and I'm talking all day and by the end of the day I don't feel like talking anymore and for me I need to be in my shelter or my shell, like close off for a bit and um, I'm an extrovert, I like to talk to people but sometimes I just need my knitting, I just need to go away for a bit and just start knitting, focus on something else and be myself again, calm myself down, um, be at ease. And that's the thing that I love about knitting. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I'm sorry for the background. Um, I'm still deciding. I like my lamp though. I love it. You know, those, when the lights are on in the evening, it projects on the wall. It's really beautiful to see. Um, I know this is like a, 
a light blur um, but yeah I wanted to have natural light um, so um, I don't have the, the fancy lights uh, uh, yet but I will after a while I'm just gonna have a try with this one um, so um, yeah I'm sorry about the background um, maybe next time I'll choose more plants I love plants as well I sound like an old lady I feel like an old lady sometimes I like being indoors I like my knitting I love plants um, I like being on my own as well um, as I said I have a busy job and at the end of the day I just want to spend some time at home and knit and watch some series or listen to some books and I've been listening to um, a few audiobooks at the moment they're more like self-help books to figure out um, who you are to really look within you and uh, books like that that's what I'm interested in now um, yeah that's about it I, oh, I still have acquisitions what I bought this week um, I'm okay I've been nice only three skeins it's okay and there's sock yarn so sock yarn you you never have enough um, you know sock yarn is like oh a quick knit um, like if you want to make a present for somebody it's always nice to have sock yarn so I bought the sig WYS the signature and it's called wildflower and it's really nice it's a sturdy sock yarn I've used them before I had the tequila sunrise I've used before I made it from the order of rainbow socks I don't I can't remember um, I made it for my sister and this is one is nice as well then I bought some Adrilia, Adrilia fill, two colors uh, th this looks a bit brown but it's actually charcoal and white because um, actually I actually have a design in my head and I want to make some socks with those two colors um, so I'm working on the details and I've got my image almost uh, done so I'm going to knit them up and see and maybe I'm gonna launch a new pattern I've got two launched already um, they're free just like one is a hard pattern and the other one is like a bit of a lace pattern I still have another one I want to uh, my llama socks I still need to write the pattern I made some beautiful llama socks for my friend and um, they're really cute and it's uh, yeah I call her drama llama and um, they're really cute and I still need to write things up and um, yeah but now I have enough time so more time to focus on my knitting or knitting related other projects uh, as I said I'm dipping in a bit of the yarn dyeing as well I have so many interests in the whole yarn thing and I want to explore in the patterns and not sure where I'm going with this but we'll see it's a trial uh, we'll see try and error maybe um, it's my life it's like if you don't try it like same with this podcast uh, if you don't try it you'll never know so I'm doing this for the moment um is this everything i wanted to talk to you about yeah i think so this is like a half an hour i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you want to see more just hit that like button um i'm sorry for all the babbling and losing sometimes the train of thoughts um as i said i'm a bit nervous this is the first one of the first time i tried this um and yeah we'll see how this uh, goes so yeah um feedback is always welcome just send me a private message if you have feedback for me uh maybe some topics you want to talk to uh, talk about or uh, maybe some designers i like or other podcasts i'm uh, knitting podcasts i'm i'm looking uh, at um so yeah let me know and um, i hope to see you soon bye